Hello, mathematicians. This is the video for Home Connections 55 and 56. All right, lasagna dinner. I always say lasagna when I spell it because that's what it looks like. All right, Giovanni. That sort of sounds like a name of one of our students this year, just a little bit. Giovanni's restaurant serves lasagna. They bake the lasagna in two different size pans. They cut the large pan into 12 pieces, and you can see that right there. There's the large pan in 12 pieces. They cut the small pan into nine pieces, and you can see that right there. Use the pans to help you answer the questions. Remember to show your thinking. So I'm going to probably use a lot of drawings. I find drawing a picture for fraction problems to be like a very powerful thing. Okay, here we go. Number one, Tori served two pieces of lasagna from the small pan. Now, I'm going to go and do a quick drawing, kind of like a three by three picture to show that small pan. And she served two pieces. So I'm gonna shade two up of them. I think having a visual is a really powerful thing. What fraction, so our answer needs to be in a fraction. What fraction of the lasagna in the pan did she serve? Well, that's a pretty easy fraction, I hope. Two are shaded and there are nine pieces total, two ninths. All right, moving on. Holly served one more piece of lasagna than Tori. So instead of serving two pieces, <laughs> she's serving three pieces, right? Because it's from the same small pan. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and draw that. All right, so we've got the two pieces that Tori did. And then we've got one more piece that Holly served. So I can see those three pieces. Now, this is a little bit different. It says write two equivalent fractions that describe how much uh, Holly served. Start with the easiest fraction. I see three pieces shaded, three out of nine. Now, an equivalent fraction, there are literally an infinite number of possibilities. And we're gonna talk about this so much in the next month and a half how to find an equivalent fraction. Now, I think because we haven't talked too much about it yet, I'm gonna show you something. If you imagine this as one long strip, and this as one long strip, and this as one long strip, can you tell that one out of the three long strips is shaded? So three nights is the same as a third of the pan. And I just want you to notice that 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. And we're going to talk all about that for the next month and a half. But if you can imagine just three long strips, one out of the three are shaded. Okay, number three. Henry served a group of five. Each person ate two pieces of lasagna from the large pan. Okay, five people times two pieces each. Five times two is? Ten. Ten. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that big pan. What did that big pan look like? A three by four. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that large pan. And we've got three pieces on the side, and we've got four pieces across the top. There's our 12 pieces. And if five people each ate two pieces, that is... 10 pieces all together. And it doesn't really matter which 10 you shade, as long as 10 out of the 12. All right, it says to write an equation. Equal sign. Write an equation that shows what fraction of a large pan of lasagna the group ate in all. Uh, well, they each ate, this is so interesting. Shows what fraction. I guess you could do five people each ate two twelfths of the lasagna, right? They each ate two pieces out of the 12 pieces. And five times two, we said, was 10. So five times two equals 10 twelfths. I might also accept if somebody just wrote five times two equals 10. That first equation is a little bit advanced for where we are right now since we're just starting fractions, but we'll get there multiplying with fractions. We'll get there. All right. Number four, April served one piece of lasagna from a large pan, and her friend Caddy served four pieces of lasagna from the same pan. 
Write two fractions to tell how much of the large pan Caddy served. All right, so we've got one piece plus four pieces, and one plus four is five. And remember that that large pan is 12 pieces. But it says to write two fractions. So we could write an equivalent fraction. Do you remember that if you cut a piece in half, there are twice as many pieces, right? So let's say we cut all those pieces in half, there'd be 24 pieces, which means 10 of them would have been uh, served or eaten instead of just the five. So that's multiplying the top by two and the bottom by two. So five twelfths is the same as 10 24ths. All right, oh, wait a minute. What fraction of a large pan? Oh, hold on, guys. They just wanted the two fractions separately. Sorry, here we go. One out of 12. There's April. And four out of 12. There's uh, Caddy. And then it says, what fraction did they serve all together? Here is where we're going to put them together. Silly Mrs. Judson. All right. And when you add 1 12th plus 4 twelfths, <laughs> this is actually easier than I thought. I just misread it. Or didn't read far enough, maybe. 1 12th plus 4 twelfths equals 5 twelfths. And there's our final answer. All right, moving on to the back. All right, Freddie served two pieces of lasagna from the large pan. His friend said he served 1 6th. Do you agree or disagree? Dude, we need a picture. All right, I'm going to draw that large pan. Remember that it was like a three by four. Okay, so here's our large pan. Three across the side, four across the top. And it said Freddie served two pieces of lasagna. So let's go ahead and shade <laughs> two pieces. Now, I know that that picture is two twelfths. And what we're trying to figure out is does two twelfths equal one-sixth, like his friend said? All right, I want you to imagine separating this a slightly different way. Instead of 12 pieces, imagine if we cut six bigger pieces. Can you picture that? So imagine instead of 12 pieces, and I know you probably don't have this many colors, so you can totally just use your eyeballs on this part. But instead of 12 pieces, can you imagine like six bigger pieces? Is one out of those six pieces shaded? Yeah. Two twelfths is the same thing as one sixth. And we're going to talk about this, but check it out. If you cut two in half, you get one. If you cut 12 in half, you get six. Yep. All right, moving on. Last one, I believe. All right. There, uh, problem like this last week we had as well, um, and it's a pre pretty sophisticated problem. So if you understand it once I do it, I think that's wonderful. All right, so if seven eggs fill half the carton, well, let's go ahead and draw seven eggs. So go ahead and fill in seven eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven. But that's only half the carton. So now you'll have to do another seven eggs to finish the carton, to complete it. So we've got one half here, and we've got our other half here. And of course, a half and a half altogether makes a whole, right? So there's our whole carton. So the whole carton would be 14 eggs, right? If seven eggs is half the carton, then the whole carton would be 14. All right, letter B says 18 eggs fill 3 eighths. This one's a little bit harder. I want to show 18, and I'm going to kind of split it into three groups. So I'm going to show like six eggs here. Okay, so there's six eggs, and that's one eighth of the carton. Another six eggs is two-eighths of the carton. Another six eggs 
is three-eighths of the carton. And if you look up above, it's saying that 18 eggs are three-eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I do have 18 eggs, but that's only three-eighths of the carton. So this carton has a lot of eggs in it. We gotta keep going till we get to eight eighths, which would be the whole shebang, right? So let's do another six eggs. So now we're at half the carton. I'm actually really happy this is a big carton of eggs because I want to use a lot of colors and I think this looks real pretty. All right. So every six eggs is another eighth of the carton. And remember, we're trying to get to eight eighths because eight eighths would be like the whole shebang, okay? So another six eggs. Here's six eighths of the carton. Another six eggs would be seven eighths. Seven eighths is almost the whole thing, right? We need to get up to eight eighths, which is the whole carton. And if you figured out how many eggs there are in this whole thing, there's 48 eggs. I wonder what the biggest carton of eggs that they sell is. I've definitely seen 24. I wonder if they make a carton with 48 eggs. I wonder. All right. I'm going to show all of the answers again. All right. Here is page 55. And here is page... 56. All right, kids, I will see you in class.